Once more, welcome back to Grim Fandango, and essentially, welcome to the beginning of the end. This is the final year of the game, and this is Journey's End. This is the destination where everyone who's living in the land of the dead wants to go. I know that sounds kind of weird, but yes, uh, unfortunately, while we were getting judged, I suppose, Glosses seem to uh, seem to faint, fall off the edge of this area, so what we need to do is now go find him. Um, Looks like there's a few areas to go. We can go back up to where we get judged at the very end of the line. We can go in here, there's a little doorway there, or we can go down these steps. And I think what I'm going to start with is... I'm going to start to go down these steps. Right. D.O.D. Coffin. Can you see where this is going? Oh, would love these. <laughs> right, let's see. I think I want to get this open. Yes! Bruno? Bruno Martinez? You! You were the guy who packed me in there! <laughs> you could have at least given me a magazine! Four years with nothing to read but this damn mug! Right. What are you doing here? And if you were headed this way, why didn't you offer me a lift? Ah! Wait, I'm getting out of here! This world's for suckers! <laughs> okay. And here we are, left holding that mug. Right, but that mug has that very special goo, gel, liquid, whatever you want to call it. I think it was some sort of glue, wasn't it, that uh, that we messed around with at the very beginning of the game. So let's put that away and let's take a look at it, because I think we're going to be using it a little bit later on. So, uh, yeah. It's the mug I gave Bruno and it's full of that foam I packed him in. Foam, that's right. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, still got the scythe, of course. And that's it. Is it the scythe and the mug? Okay, sure. Anything else in there? Probably not. There's some packing foam in here with a Bruno-shaped dent in it. <laughs> I wonder why. Uh, yeah, sure. What about these other coffins? It's full of caskets. Okay, well, anyone else packed inside? It's full of caskets. Can we pull one out? Hello? Whew. They're empty. Right. <laughs> Fair enough. I guess they've all made the journey up the steps. Uh, yeah. Let's keep going, I guess. Down the road? That's the road we came in on. Nothing out there but snow and a perfectly good pair of sunglasses. Right, okay. So, uh, what's this? Hello! Wow, no echo. We truly are at the edge of the world. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, so yeah, this does seem to be the end of the line down here. So, back up the steps, and I suppose we should probably try this little doorway Randy! over here. Oh! What's wrong? Go up there and see! Hey, where is everybody? Waiting area two. How long do they have to wait in there? Until they have tickets. They were issued tickets on the number nine, and they don't have them now. The punishment for selling double-end tickets is very severe. But they didn't sell their tickets. Their no. tickets were stolen. By who? Hector Le Mans stole them to sell to rich people who don't deserve them. That might be them now. Let's see just what they deserve. Ah. Uh, Nick, right? Hmm. <laughs> So close and yet so far. Holy shit. What a transformation. <laughs> and just a shake of the head by him. Actually, now we're here. Uh, hi? Yeah, what happened to the train? What happened to that train? Your destiny cannot be purchased. As Nick is now discovering, I suppose. I don't understand. Why has everyone been detained? Given a ticket, a soul may not sell it. They didn't sell their tickets. Someone else is trying to. Bring the tickets. That is all. Right, okay. This this chapter is not going to be as simple as it should be. The tickets are in Elmaro. How can I get there quickly? These rails are already there. Well, thanks for the help. The gate opens. The gate closes. It does not help. Hmm. Okay. 
Is that it? I guess that's the end of the conversation. So, what exactly are you? It looks a little ungainly, but I bet that hat is really warm. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, we can go inside? Yeah, okay. Is this an option? Would this lead to, like, a bad ending or something? Maybe I can just leave these guys behind. Uh, right. Over here? Oh, <laughs> hi again. Just can't resist paddling around in the water, I guess. Hey, how'd you get free? I was born free, Boatnik. Nobody gave me no ticket, so nobody can take it away. So what are you pacing around here for? Trying to unwind a little bit. All those years circling in one direction. Gotta even out my life in this world before I go on to the next, you know? Well, that ought to do her. Goodbye, Chapito. Happy trails, Captain. And thanks for setting me straight back there in the drink. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it oh, shine. God. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Well, his singing this isn't gonna be my problem mine, anymore. I'm gonna let it shine. It's the other world. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed. No, I'm gonna let it shine. <laughs> Surely that's not the only way. I mean, do you actually have to be on the tracks? What if you get hit? Run over. Probably doesn't really matter. I don't know, can you die again from getting run over by a train? Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? But yeah, that's what I'm interested in. Can we go in ourselves? Try it. I could actually do it. I yeah. could walk out of this world right now and not look back. But I can't. I can't do it. I'm not leaving without the people I promised to save. There you go. The Right Honourable Manny Calavera. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Okay, got to go around that pillar, apparently, just to go back to this screen, to go down here past this, I don't know, little jacuzzi area. And head back to the door. Yeah. I think we'll be back here again, but not for a while. Can we just walk down here, or...? Right, okay. These must go all the way back to El Maro. I think they do. And I think we'll need to use them, but not before I've sorted out Glottis. So, he fell off of this area here, didn't he? Recently, Wait. I was visited by a bird with oh. a human head. Do you know <laughs> such a bird, Manuel Calavera? No. How do you know my... He knew you, and for you, he left this note. Salvador? Okay. Can we have a read? I or? know what you're up to. I've been watching. Stay there. I'm coming to sprout you myself. Yours truly, oh. Hector Le Mans. Híjole. <laughs> All right. Well, let's let's put that away. Probably best that no one else sees that. Yeah. Yeah. Where was I? Yeah. Going down the steps, and I think maybe going in here. Right. Oh. There he is. Glottis. Hear the name of the Great One. Glottis. What's happening? How many days has this grand demon gone without driving? Well, we've been hiking for months. Months? Months? Oh, then the noble one will surely die. But... Well, no, we're not going to leave it there. Glottis, I'm sorry. Many. Why didn't you tell me you were sick? Couldn't stop. Have to save everyone. No, oh, he's a big lummox, and he's kind of annoying at times. But he, his heart is in the right place. Yeah, when he's got it inside his body. Are you in much pain, my friend? Only because I let you down, Manny. No. What can I get you? Will anything help? I need to race to fly like like the old days, Manny. In the bone wagon. But the bone wagon's not here, Karna. Maybe I'll see her on the other side. Yeah. Can't we make a new hot rod? Those days are done, Manny. <laughs> no more hot rod. Hey, what's that red thing? The gondola? Mm, sweet decal work. Listen, <laughs> fellas, somebody... Somebody get a pen. There it is. Oh shit. My final work. It could save me if you have the right 
The right <coughs> you What fuel, Gladys? Gladys. Right. Okay, well let's have a look at this schematic, this diagram that he just created. This is it the like gondola, I think. For a rocket sled. They're brilliant. <laughs> right. Okay, so I don't know, do we jot this down or take it with us or what? It looks like blueprints for a rocket sled. They're brilliant. Okay, and I believe we make it out of this gondola here. Is that right? Gondolas? I knew we should have checked this side of the mountain before we walked up. <laughs> Uh, let's see, can we go on board or...? I too self-conscious carrying that around. Oh no, that's not what I really meant to do. Hey, how about a gondola ride, Gremlins? Hmm. He's too big. The gondola is too slow. Okay. Ah... Uh, Meche, any ideas? Meche, we have to get back to Omaro for the tickets. Oh, Gladys. Okay, she's concerned with the big guy, unfortunately. We need to deal with him before anything else. Uh, okay. Well, there's a little area down here. Is that a... <laughs> I think that's a toaster, and I think I'll need to use it. Uh, yeah, okay, there's a couple things down here, so let's go down there and take a little look. These little guys, they remind me of the aliens from Toy Story. My Anyone else? Don't need any oily right now. Wait, wait. Not paid to move those. My joints don't need any oily right now. Hmm. I feel I need to use them. It, something down here? Oh, it's this. Oh, eerie. They have the same tool cabinets as Gladys. Oh, yeah? How eerie. They lock up their tools just like Gladys. Fair enough. Okay. And I, I assume it's going to be the same with all of them. So, yeah. Okay. Um, this is kind of the limit of the screen. So, I think we've just got to go underneath them and have a little look around in this little sort of kitchenette area. Okay. Looks like there's a note on the fridge. Your mother doesn't work here. Since nobody listened to my last warning about keeping this refrigerator clean, I'm afraid I'm going to have to lock it until some of you grow up. Signed, the facilities department. Right. <laughs> so I can't open it. Your mother doesn't work here. Since nobody listened, I'm right, afraid okay, I'm going to yeah. have to lock it until some of you grow up. Right. So yes, this is actually a toaster, isn't there's it? There's a note next to this toaster. To avoid further mishaps, Please, butter your English muffins after you toast them. <laughs> facilities. Okay, thanks, Facilities. Can I use this in some way? Right. Well, I think ideally I need to put something in there. Uh, let's see. There's this it's as well. It's the mug rack at the end of the world. <laughs> and we just so happen to have a mug. And I think that's probably where it needs to go, actually. Let's give that a try. No, not the uh, not the note from Hector. Yeah, this. Can we add it? Okay. I hate it when people leave their crusty mugs out in the break room. But I think in this case it's probably got to be done. Alright, so we can't turn on the fan. What about the drawers down here? Oh, hold on. Oh, there's something over here, it looks like. One of these. This it's one closed. here. We'll open it then. It's full of rags. Really? Can I grab one? Always a good idea to have a clean rag around. Right. Put it away. Is there something special about this rag, or do I need to put something special on the rag? I think it's one of those. It's a lovely rag. It's lovely at the moment. I don't think I want it to be lovely. Let me just... Let's select it. And let's put this in here. Can I do that? No, I... Oh. Oh, I do, I do. Then just... just wait. Hmm... Happiness is a warm <laughs> rag. No, I was expecting something a little better than that. We need to... We need to put something on the rag. And you know what? There was a couple of barrels out here. So, try and use it with a the barrel. There was like oil or something. Right, yes, there you go. This better not stain my pocket. It won't, because you won't put it in your pocket. You're gonna put it straight in the toaster. Put it straight in the toaster! Right. That's more like it. Oh. Oh, oh that's where the mug comes in, I see! <laughs> what was in that mug? 
Something that powerful could fuel a... A rocket. rocket! If only we had more! Well, I could score you a couple of truckloads if you're interested. <laughs> there you go! Like an arrow into the wind. May you pierce the heart of the wind itself and drink the blood of flight. Speed is the food of the great Glottis. Speed bring you life. Come back to us someday. Here we go. I certainly hope there's not another number nine on the way because we are going straight through it. <laughs> you sure this thing's going to hold together? Uh, at least most of the way. Hey, look! We're all ready to move a cover! Manny? Manny? Manny, where are you? Manny, I'm frightened! <laughs> oh, come on. Jesus, we were, we were so close as well. Yes, we don't go straight to El Marrow. We have to make a couple of stops on the way. One of those stops is Rupert Carver. Ah, Rupert Carver! What a town! Remember the glory days, Manny? <laughs> Long gone, my friend. There's nothing here for us now. Except maybe our old car. Ah, yes. Dios mio. She's been booby-trapped. By who? Who? Domino. Domino. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I wonder who it could be. Sure, okay. So it's, it's the bone wagon we're here for, I think. I think, yeah. Uh, right. So how do we deal with this exactly? I don't remember. Those dominoes are like one long fuse. Okay, well, um... I don't know, can you stand on your tippy toes and go over here? Can we, yeah, take a couple of dominoes out? I don't out. think my hands are steady enough for that. Uh, okay. <laughs> that seems very excessive, really. Just so it can drop on the plunger and destroy this thing. Uh, yeah, it seems like we can't actually do anything, to be honest. Um. Hmm. Glasses. Any ideas? Don't panic. Was <laughs> panicking. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm panicking a little bit because I don't remember how to deal with this. Yeah. Let's leave. Right. So I guess that was another case of seeing the arrow before we should see the arrow because there was no way I could go back in there in in year two. Um. Right. Okay. I suppose in the two years I've been gone, someone's actually reset this bridge. Let's pull it across again. Maintenance has gotten pretty lax around here, apparently. Okay, fair enough. So, uh, does that mean we can't go to the cat track, or does that mean I just have to go to the bridge? I'm not sure. What about here? Is this still useless? I suppose this just went up to the, the dock, didn't it? For the big ships. That goes to the upper dock, but nothing's docked there now. Nothing's ever docked there, apparently. All right, well, there's Meche over there. Maybe she's got an idea. Looks like Domino left his calling card. But how? I saw him torn to shreds. He must have done this on his last trip through town. He did mention seeing the bone wagon or something, didn't he? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, well, let's see. Let's, I guess, start over here. Go back to the tattooists. The <laughs> blimp's still here, I see. And the cat track, yeah. Yeah, maybe we need to go to the lighthouse again. I honestly don't remember this bit. Okay. Well, this hasn't changed too much. Can we still go in? Yeah, we, we still warp up the ladder. Who knows, maybe Narange has finally woken up. That's not him still asleep, is it? That can't be. The bottle's gone, I see. Uh, you need to make a call? Will love it. Oh, it's the tattooist. Hello, operator? Yeah, it's me, Manny. I was just passing through town and... Wow. Still mad. Kill you! T what? What was that? <laughs> Binders of tattoo designs. They haven't moved at all. Nice. And a third one just says Anchormania. Hold still! 
Right. Let's go talk to this guy. Or I need, probably need to wake him up, don't we? Yeah. I guess Naranja got out of here safe and sound after a month or two. Oh, told us Plum tuckered out. Plum tuckered out. Yes, he is. No, I don't want to disturb his grumpy little dreams. Maybe I want to open his grumpy little fridge. I don't want to wake up Toto. Okay. Well, why can we come in here? This is like a Chekhov's gun kind of thing, you know? There's got to be a reason that this exists. Doesn't hurt. Is it his little machine? I mean, can we... Yeah. Is this... No. That's... I thought I could have a look at his little generator down here. Stop moving. Can't sit on the seat. Uh, what have I got to play with? Not much, I suppose. Just the scythe and the note? Yeah, the mud's gone. Alright. Whoa, back. Wait. This? What's this? It's a little cabinet. Open it. Color cost more. Ah, okay. What's in there? Not much. Oh. I kill you! <laughs> Alright, Ahmed. Uh, yeah. Put that away. I want to see what that is. Let's see. Stop moving. Liquid nitrogen. Not to be used on bone. Liquid nitrogen. Okay. Alright, well let's let's leave that in there, I suppose. Anything else? I kill you! No, that's it. That's it. The cabinets down there don't work. Okay. Well, at least this area seems to have a point. I've got the liquid nitrogen. Uh shot your hole. <laughs> I'll leave them to it. Okay, let's try another area. Uh, let's see how the sea bees are doing. It's been two years, right? I suppose the union's changed quite a bit now that, you know, you probably read that book cover to cover. Okay. <laughs> Manny, do you want to be any slower? Yeah, come on. This way. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be much help to me, really. Okay. So... Could have a look at the casket, I guess. Uh... This was the dog, right? Oh, hey, he's still here. Manuel Calavera? <laughs> well, what happened to the limbo? Hate to tell you, Velasco, but she went down at the Pearl. But we found a new ship, the SS La Mancha, and managed to... The La Mancha? My old rusty bucket. Where is she? Oh, well... We traded her in Puerto Zapato for a team of sled dogs. That does it. I'm out of this stinking mob town. But thanks for finding my baby, Manny. Puerto Zapato, here I come. Mob town? Hmm. Well, it's been two years. I wonder what's happened to the club. Didn't... wasn't... Uh, it was going to be Maximino that was going to buy it, right? Or maybe, uh, you know, the other person who ran the casket. Can I still have a look at the moon? I guess I can. Let's have a look. From here specifically? It shone pale as bone as I stood there alone. And I thought to myself how the moon that night cast its light on my heart's true delight and the reef where her body was strewn. Ah, not quite the same without old Velasco. No, it's not, is it? No duet this time. Okay. Oh, uh, he left this behind. Do I need this? You'd think after two years he'd have the little SS Lumbago's lifeboats on, at least. Right. Can I pick that up now? Maybe I'll just finish this for him. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, maybe I will. Put it away. Let's have a better look at it. Because, you know, it's honestly quite hard to tell what that is, really. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, sure. Um... You'd think after two years he'd have the little SS Lumbago's lifeboats on, at least. Hmm. That's it. So we're going to find down here. Yeah, we can't go to e either side, and there's nothing to actually board this time. So let's leave. Uh, do we need to? No, I can't mix items. Do I? I was just wondering if I needed to put the liquid nitrogen inside the bottle, but I don't know how I would do that. Anyway, looks like it's uh, the casket up next. Right. And then, um, yeah, I'll go across and see what the bees are doing. I guess. Okay, well, uh, business isn't really booming. This is, again, I assume, another day of the dead, so maybe they're all home with their families. Mm 
Mm -hmm. She's gone. The kitchen. Okay, what the hell's this? They still haven't done these? They're not the same ones, are they? <laughs> well, maybe I need to do them for them. Dirty plates can stay put. Fair enough. Yeah, what's this giant cask or keg about? I would, but I hate sucking gelatin straight from the tap. Gelatin? Coffin shooter one, two, three, just oh, pour, right. chill, and serve. Okay, is there still loads of shit down there? No. Can you use this? The dishwasher? Nothing in the dishwasher. No. Certainly not dishes. Okay. Uh, and what about here? Ooh, food waste. Yeah, again, probably s still don't want it. As soon as I think of a use for <laughs> stinky food waste, I'll give it a shot. Why do I not believe you? Uh, right, I, d I don't know if we're, uh, we're missing something. We might be. I'm, I'm kind of at a loss. I think this is where I'm going to start just using items with other items and see what happens. I don't know if... Maybe I need to add the liquid nitrogen to the cask. Or maybe... The yeah, maybe I don't need to finish it off for him. Maybe I just need the bottle. Yeah. That makes more sense, actually. And Manny seems to think so as well. So the boat's now submerged. That's what the lumbago diorama needed. Fake ocean water. Right, yeah. <laughs> uh, I dread to think what's going to happen if I click this, but... Ooh, look at the colour. I'd drink it, but I'd probably get the SS lumbago stuck in my throat. Good point, good point. Well, put it away. Put it away. And let's examine it. He's probably just going to say the same thing again. That's what the lumbago diorama right. needed. Fake ocean water. Okay, yeah, from this stuff. The stuff that can, you know, put a sailor on his back for months. Calavera, I... oh, she's what here. are you doing here? I heard you went pow in Zapato, Daddy. Well, Hector Lamont's tried and missed. Now it's my turn. I'm headed to El Maro to put him out of business. Manny, that place has changed. You don't know what you're getting into. I'd better come with you. Just give me a minute to get ready. Okay, but if you hear a loud explosion anytime soon, the trip's off. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'll leave her to it. Um, yeah. Nothing else around here? I don't think so, really. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, the mic? Uh, yeah, sure. Look at it. Use it. I don't know. Looks like it's open mic night. Go on, then. I just can't do it without an audience. Ah, oh, really? <laughs> do we take this with us? I just can't do it without uh, okay. an audience. And these books back here, no. Not, not taking those. All right, well, um, we're leaving the casket. And we are going to move on to, yeah, the bees, I suppose. And then head up and see what's happened to the cafe. Okay, the bees have gone. Is that the same, you know... The <laughs> Is that the same as well? Mm, not a good sign for Rubikawa's organized labor movement. No, it looks like no work's been done at all. <laughs> working hard or hardly working? I think I know which one. Um, okay, to the lighthouse? Yeah, to the lighthouse. Don't know if we can go in. Someone's probably come in and, and locked the door. Oh no, no they haven't actually. Let's go in then. Oh, there he is, okay. Oh, Lola. Yeah. Oh, Lola. She died right there and drifted off to sea. There's nothing else up here. Not that I can see, no, okay. How do we, uh, how do we get down exactly? Never had to do this before, is there, hang on, let's go back here. Is that it? Have I found the sweet spot? Yes, I have, okay. So, nothing in the lighthouse. Yep, it's the lift up next. Unless, well, I don't know, I didn't... No, we can't go in there. Yeah, let's go to the right, use the lift, and head up. It's locked. Oh. Oh, okay, so... Oh, the bridge didn't work either. So, so the, okay, the rest of Rubicava's kind of cut off from us then, isn't it? Unless there's some new way. And I don't think there would be, really. Uh... No, that's it. So I can't get to the top level, I can't go to the bridge, I can't see the florist anymore. That's a bit of a shame. Oh well. Um... Bugger. <laughs> what the fuck? 
Okay, hold on then. It, it, the liquid nitrogen might be used with the dominoes? This is where I just use everything I've got with the dominoes and see what happens. Yeah, let's start with this. Uh, I don't really want to do that. No. No, that's a bit of a dumb idea, really. Although, I don't know if the liquid nitrogen idea is maybe dumber. Probably don't use the message. It would just evaporate. Right, okay. Um, Glottis, again. Don't panic. Meche? You really should get back in case it blows. I'm with you guys till the end. You know that. Hmm. Okay. Is the liquid nitrogen to stop the dynamite from exploding? Do we freeze it before it explodes? Is that what we do? Probably don't want to light a cigarette so close to the uh, to the bomb, Manny. It's not the smartest move. Ah. Uh... I don't know. Let me have one more little look around, see if I can find anything else. Wait, is this working? What's that? It's, uh, Lombago <sighs> Lemonade. Try it. Of course mm. we give it to him. Of course we do. Perkly little aperitif, actually. With his drinking problem, yes, of course. He can't turn it down. Not bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me where you got that right now! Olivia's kitchen. Lumbago! <laughs> Alright, well I suppose there's a full cask of it for him. Manny, aren't we in a hurry? Don't worry, this won't take long. Won't it? Oh, my stomach don't stretch like it used to. Oh, Gladys. Ah, <laughs> uh, you still panicking? I like your ears wiggling around. What's going on, big guy? So what is that stuff they pack can hams in anyway? <laughs> oh. Okay. Lovely. <laughs> Good job. Show, my friend. You wouldn't happen to have a breath mint on you, I suppose. I'm afraid not, no. And I don't think I've got the boat in the bottle either. I think you probably swallowed it. Uh, let's see what the damage is. It's pretty fucking extensive, actually. Okay, I get it. Gelling. It can't gel now. It got all nice and warm in my belly. Well, we need to freeze it then, don't we? And that, I suppose, is where the liquid nitrogen comes in. So. Let's give this another try. There you go. Just like that. Pretty much instantaneously. Wow. Hey, good idea! I bet I could keep it down now that it's cold. Just let me get across <sighs> first, okay? Yeah. Okay. So... Nothing's sticking out the top or anything. Still gotta be careful with these ones, I suppose. Very specifically with this. Uh, right. Take the plunger away, or... I don't know, what do you want to do? Yeah, careful. Fiendish. Very. Take him off. Well, here goes nothing. Oh dear, oh dear. Right! Bone wagon. Wow. Looks like Hector's taking over the whole town. He hasn't had much resistance. There's only one small group who oppose him, and they live out on the fringes of the city. <laughs> like here. Places like this, you Yeah. <laughs> I hope they're not hurting Gladys. Ha. Huh. Shows what you know about this group. Their leader is a great man who... Salvador. Manuel Calavera. We meet again. I see you have found what you were looking for. How fortunate for you to arrive now just as we too are about to achieve success. Our army has grown. And right now our top agents are in Hector's weapons lab. About to close in on the enemy in his own den. I couldn't have done it without you, Manuel. <laughs> It was a trap! Stand back. There's only one thing to do. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You have saved me. But more than that, you have enabled me to continue to serve the movement. What did you say about a trap? Hector uncovered our agent in his weapons lab. No.
idiot, Bowsley. Your new lab assistant is a spy. Haven't you ever heard of a background check? Right. What? No time to explain. Now I'll have to take matters into my own hands. Take me with you. Hmm. I've longed to be of service to your cause for years. What was that? A photograph of someone? She seems to know where they're going. <laughs> right, and here we are. <laughs> Long time no see. That's not my secretary, is it? Uh, right, okay. I think this is actually where I'm going to end this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you back next time where we'll explore this area and the rest of El Marrow and uh, catch up with a few familiar faces. See you then. Check this side of the mountain before we walked up. <laughs> this better not stay in my pocket. It won't, because you won't put it in your pocket. You're gonna put it straight in the toaster. Can we still go in? Yeah, we, we still warp up the ladder. Probably don't want to light a cigarette so close to the uh, to the bomb, Manny. It's not the smartest move. Let's see what the damage is. It's pretty fucking extensive, actually.